Hello student, this is third video of assignment 7.3 and uh, in this uh, we will see what is phaser. We will talk about question 14 and 15. What is phaser? Represent alternating voltage using phaser diagram and uh, write uses of phaser. We know that in case of AC circuit, voltage can be given by V is equal to Vm cos omega t or as uh, we can write voltage as Vm sin omega t. It can be uh, either one. So, what if we take Cartesian plane and take Vm as vector? Suppose if I take a vector of length Vm and uh, represent it at an angle say omega t. So now if I look at x component of this vector Vm, I will get Vm cos omega t and uh, if I take y component of this vector, I will get Vm sin omega t. Moreover, as the time proceeds, after some time, if I look at this graph, then this graph would look like this. Sorry. Why? Because uh, as the time proceeds, this angle omega t will increase, t increases and hence omega t increases. And with change in omega t, the vertical component Vm sin omega t also changes and horizontal component Vm cos omega t also changes. It means that as this vector, as this vector Vm rotates, looking at its x and y component, I can determine value of Vm sin omega t or Vm cos omega t. And uh, then I can say that this Vm is a vector which is rotating as the time proceeds Vm rotates. So such rotating vector is representing a physical quantity voltage which is actually uh, not vector. It is scalar quantity but we are presenting in vector form. So such rotating vector is called phasor. Here who is phasor? Vm is phasor. So suppose instead of Vm if I consider current. Suppose in some circuit I have current known say I is equal to I m cos omega t plus delta and I know it is scalar quantity but uh, I want to present it on graphs so what I can do is I will have to take phasor of current. What do you mean by phasor of current? I will consider a vector of length I m. Okay so suppose this is a vector whose length is I m then I will take this vector at an angle, which angle? This angle, omega t plus delta. And then I can say that this is phasor representation of current I. Okay, and then if I want to find out how much is the current value, all I need to do is, I have to say if it is function of cos, if current is function of cos, I have to take horizontal component of I m because horizontal component is cos component okay and uh, what if in some circuit current is uh, I is equal to I m sin omega t plus delta yet the same phasor can deal with it instead of horizontal look at vertical component okay. this is uh, sin component and uh, as as the time changes, T will change, as T changes, uh, this phasor, this phasor will rotate and hence its horizontal and vertical component will change its value. So if we are asked what is phasor, answer should be, phasor is a rotating vector and uh, horizontal and vertical component uh, of such rotating vector represents some physical quantity which need not to be vector. Uh, figure 1. Figure 1 is phasor representation of voltage and figure 2 is phasor representation of 
current okay so any sinusoidal function can be represented even if it is scalar you can uh, present it in form of vector you just have to take vector whose length is equal to maximum value of that function okay uh, so that is uh, all about phasor why do we need phasor so one one reason why we need phasor is uh, graphical representation is always uh, better and more clear compared to uh, mathematical equation second very important reason uh, to consider phasor is suppose in some circuit you have a current passing through one arm as i1 m cos omega t plus delta 1 say and uh, current in some other arm is say i2 m cos omega t plus delta 2 now if i want to find out what is the resultant current of this two so mathematically if i go and if i take i is equal to i1 plus i2 then i'll need to undergo clumsy mathematical exercise but instead if this two uh, can be added graphically then the whole uh, mathematical exercise can be uh, bypassed and that is second application of uh, phasor now let us see how to add this to i1 and i2 uh, using phasor so again you have to consider two phasors which are the two phasors first i will take phasor of i1 how to take phasor of i1 you have to take a vector whose length is i m1 and plot it at this angle okay so let me consider a vector say this is vector i will call it i1 m and uh, where i have plotted it i am considering it at angle omega t plus delta 1 and on top of that i will consider second phasor of i2 it means i will consider a vector of this length at this angle on head of uh, i1 m so let me take second vector on head of i1 m this is i 2 m and i am taking it at an angle this angle is omega t plus delta 2 now if you extend the line of i m 1 you will realize that this angle is omega t plus delta 1 and uh, this angle is the difference of the two phases delta 1 and delta 2 and then i can say that this line is the resultant vector i m i can say and if i take horizontal component of i m i will get i m cos of say let this angle be phi so cos of phi and this is the resultant current i you may say so uh, this is how you can add two uh, mathematical functions which are having sine or cos in it so this is the second use of phasor first first use is uh, any physical quantity which may be scalar can be represented in form of vector graphically using phasor second one is you can add two sinusoidal function two physical quantities having sinusoidal function in it can be added using phasor method and uh, third use is if you have a voltage and uh, current equation you can determine phase difference between voltage and current uh, with the uh, phasor diagram so obviously from equations like suppose if i write uh, voltage as v is equal to v m cos omega t and if current is i is equal to i m cos omega t minus delta looking at this equation it is always uh, clear that uh, this delta is phase difference but the same thing can be represented graphically also so that is third use of phasor that phase difference between voltage and current can be determined or represented using phasor diagram 
so uh, that is all about phaser and uh, its uses in next video uh, we will try to represent voltage and current phaser and uh, with the diagram we will try to determine phase difference between the two thank you